Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Justin's Poke Ventures number five. Today we're going to try and get out for a little bit, but it's pretty windy so we might stay in the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, we're not in my car today. We're in my girlfriend's car. We're going to go out together, probably check out a few areas, see what's going on, scope it out for the spring and summer. We do have some very exciting things coming very soon. Uh, I'll give you a little little teaser here. I am going to be getting Adobe Premiere here soon instead of using Windows Movie Maker. So we are going to be able to make better content for you and better videos. Hopefully we'll get rid of the green screen. That's the main thing. <laughs> So we are going to maybe try to hatch our 10k today, I'm not sure. I thought it was windy yesterday, uh, yeah, so my weather app says it's about 30 mile an hour gusts today, and so that's pretty intense. Might not be very much outside. And a few, few key notes that I want to uh, touch on in this episode is the upcoming legendaries. The battling system because Niantic did release some information about that so we'll talk about that in the future so we're just kind of cruising around checking out some parks today and it looks like we found a Pikachu nest there was a few other ones that were on the map just a little bit ago I guess we're just gonna throw one pokeball at this guy if we don't get him we don't get him we already have our Raichu plenty of Pikachus not really interested in anything that's not a special edition Pikachu, I guess. Eh, one more. Whatever. There we go, got him. Pretty easy catch. Pikachus seem to be easier to catch now. Kind of weird. I guess all the starters are probably pretty easy to catch now after the new Gen 2 updates. Hey guys, so Danny and I just stopped at a gas station really quick. We're going to try and get to this stop after we fill up the tank. Uh, there is a couple of Wobbuffet, and I do not have a Wobbuffet. So we're going to try and go get those because neither of us actually have Wobbuffet. And so definitely need to catch that. The stop that I was looking at, there was two that was spawned there. So, we're going to hope that they're still there because, well, definitely want to get those for the new decks entry for you guys and because we need it. So, we'll be right back when we get to it. Hopefully, it's still there. Hi right, guys, we got a 2k hatch in here. Let's hope for some Togepi candies. Fingers crossed. What is it? Oh, no, it's going to just be a sprite. Ah, Slugma. All right, that's pretty cool. 14, 416 Slugma, 1416. What am I talking about? Amazes and attack. So it's all right, IVs. Ember and Flame Burst. That's pretty cool, though. We got a few candies for it. Kind of needed those candies. Going to hit the stop. Maybe we'll get an evolution item in here. And, of course not. Try this one, too. And it glitched out. Alright, so our Pokemon can load any second here. Apparent. Yes. Both of the Wobbuffet. Awesome. So excited for these new catches. CP71. Uh, we're just going to Great Ball it. We're going to risk it here. Risk it for the biscuit, guys. I think we'll get him. Terrible throw. There I go, back to the scrub life again. Yes, got that one on the first catch. Pokedex entry. Very nice. Okay, time for number two. 168. We're still just going to great ball this one. It's still not that great. And I just cannot 
get my curveballs down ever. But we still got it in one shot. Awesome. That's two Wobbuffet, one stop. And it's like the only stop in the area, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I was hoping our luck would give us a metal coat or something. But no, of course not. Again. Hey guys, so we decided to stop at fish camp really quick. It's very, very windy, so you might not be able to hear me very well, and I do apologize for that. But it's so nice out today, besides the wind that I just kind of wanted to get a better view for you guys. The scenery out here, it is just like absolutely gorgeous out. And I mean, the water is all thawed off. I'm actually standing next to this fence here really quick. So we have that happen, but it's gonna happen anyway because it's insanely windy. But yeah, as you can see, uh, these little doodads here have some information about the park on them. There's one there, one there. That's what the pokey stops are. It's actually pretty interesting. It's kind of about the fishing culture that they used to have when this town was first established. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, just a, just a really interesting historical area and definitely some cool area for some Pokemon spawns, especially at night right now. So maybe we'll have a nighttime episode out here. Uh, just leave me a comment in the section below and let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in is some uh, nighttime footage. Okay guys, so we're back home and it's pretty late now. Luckily we don't work tonight, so that's really nice. I'm very, very tired. I've been awake for almost 24 hours now. Um, so I was reading on Niantic's Twitter page. Uh, John Hankey was talking about some of the major updates for this year and it looks like he is saying that they're gonna do some improvement to the gym battles which is one of the things that I did predict in one of my previous videos but it also looks like along with the gym battles they're gonna add the legendary birds at least for what what it sounds like uh, with what little description he did give. And there's also mention of playing together. So what could they mean by playing together? That could be like, you know, maybe the original, what they were expecting with the legendary birds is like battle sequences with the birds where you join up with people in the area around you for an event and you battle the bird to catch it in some way shape or form not quite sure how they would do that maybe you know you like like the actual games where you have to lower the health of a pokemon to make it easier to catch so that's good potential and good to see that they're actually going to follow through with all of that stuff now. 
And so I'm pretty excited to see what they do with that. Hopefully they come out with some of those updates pretty soon here. Also still hoping for Gen 3 coming this summer. That would be really cool because I feel like a lot of people are filling out their Pokedexes really, really quick. Especially people like Mystic7, Ollie A, um, and Trainer Tips. It just seems like they're getting their Pokedex filled out really, really quick. So we're going to also touch again on the day and night spawns. So I noticed that a lot of people are analyzing that right now. I haven't really gotten out to play much at night lately because I do work nights, as I stated in my previous video. And so it's kind of hard to get out and play at night to test out the spawns, but maybe we'll get out and get some clips for a nighttime video soon. If that's something that you guys would like to see, leave a comment down in the section below and let me know. I would also like to give a shout out to everybody that's been watching me this far, everybody that's subscribed, liked my videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it so, so much. And I look forward to you guys continuing to watch, hopefully. And we will keep putting out good content for you guys, hopefully getting better soon here when we get our Adobe Premiere and a few other things that I have planned for the channel. But that's still going to be a surprise until the time comes. So until next time, happy hunting.